Hey guys, Dylan Bates here with Final Cut Pro. Today I want to show you how you can create a film grain generator for Final Cut Pro using Motion 5. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Before we start this tutorial, I'm going to have a link in the description to Premium Beats website and they just have a huge list of free film grain overlays you can download. We are going to need a film grain asset to actually create this generator for Final Cut Pro. I'm not sponsored by Premium Beat in any way, but I just found this list very helpful. Um, so I wanted to share it with you. So go ahead and download that now and then come back to the next part of the tutorial. Okay, so within Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna show you really quickly how one might normally add film grain. So normally they download their preset, they drag it on their timeline, they set the blend mode to hard light or overlay or something like that. And then they'll have to duplicate it over the entirety of their project and then when they get to the end they'll trim it down and so now you have film green all over but if you move around your clips it can get out of whack you can group it with command G or alt G to create a compound clip and that's one way you can do it which is great but I'm all about saving time so what we're gonna do is actually create a generator within motion, and that'll allow us just to put the generator on top, drag it to the length of our video, and call it a day. So let's go ahead and clear this off and open up motion. Okay, so now that we have motion open, we're gonna select a final cut generator. Make sure your preset is set to 4K as we are working with a 4K film grain preset. Then set your frame rate to 29.97 as that's what the film grain was shot at, and your duration to 10 seconds. From there, we're just gonna open up motion. All we're gonna do is come up to import, find our film grain preset and import that. Then we're going to come to the end of the clip and push shift M. After you do that, you'll notice it created a marker here and mine is green, it might be a different color for you. Go ahead and double click that marker, set the type to project loop end, and that will let Final Cut Pro know that that is the end of the video and that it needs to loop it, rather than retiming our generator to the length of the clip. Now just push OK, and then all we need to do is push Command S or go up to File and Save, and call it Film Grain, 16 millimeter. Um, let's add hard light to the end just to let us know what blend mode works best with this particular grain. Set our category to film grain. If um, you might need to create a new category and set your theme to 16 millimeter or whatever you want. And from there, we'll just push publish. That will create a file for us, but then we can just jump on over to Final Cut Pro. And rather than dragging down a 10 second version of this, we can actually go to our generators here, go to film grain and just drag that right on top it sets it to 10 seconds by default, but we can actually drag this out without needing to duplicate it and it will automatically loop our grain for us. Then we can select that, set it to hard light, and we're done. We've got beautiful film grain on our video project and we don't need to duplicate it or create compound clips or anything. And I just find it saves me a lot of time when I add film grain to my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video is helpful to you, please consider pressing the like button, consider subscribing, and I will see you next week.